Hello, my name is Wes McNabb. I'm a master certified consultant for Ivanti Neurons for ITSM and I work for NCSI. Today I would like to show you a bit of the development life cycle for Ivanti Neurons for ITSM where you have a staging environment, a UAT environment, and then your production environment. Um, in a previous video I did demonstrate setting up a dev environment where you have your staging and UAT tenants. And today we're going to take and uh, make use of those. Um, on the screen, you'll see Operations Console, which was um, installed with the dev environment. And we can see that um, we see our production, staging, and UAT um, tenants in this graphic video. If we just look at tenants, we, see, we can see the con config for staging, and we can see the config for production. Um, you also see the tenants themselves in here. Um, and clicking on Manage Migration, and any of those gets you to this screen. Um, just looking at the screen, you can see that um, we have already um, taken production and pushed it down to staging, and we've taken production and we've pushed it down to UAT, so we have a copy. Um, you also have the ability with Operations Console to take any packages that we've created here in staging and push those to UAT. Uh, where at that point you would log into UAT, make sure your package produces the desired results, doesn't break anything, sign off on it and say, okay, that package is ready to go. We'll go back and close that package. And then we'll take that same package and push that and apply it to production. Uh, we'll do it both ways today. There's another way to take those changes, package them up and push them. And that would be to take them and save them to a file and then take that file and import to the target tenant. So uh, for our demo, we'll just make some small changes, maybe one small change in our staging environment, package it up, push it to UAT, log in to see that it produces the desired effect, and then we'll log into uh, production, or actually we'll come back to Operations Console and push that same change to production. So we'll go over to our staging environment, um, and we'll take a look at incident. These are the out-of-box um, configurations for these objects in here. And then um, if we look, we'll see this is some of the sample data that has been provided. <clears throat> so I'd like to, in my simple case here, change the label on this field to user. And so what I'll do is go into the back end here. And I want to make sure that when I do that, I can capture it um, and put it in a specific place, easy to find, that I can take and then apply to a package. So we'll see that for projects here, I've just got default. I've got a couple other demos, but we're going to create a new project. We'll go down here to projects, and we'll create a new one. We'll call it demo three. A new record, and we'll call it demo three. Demo. Really arbitrary, arbitrary, whatever you want to call it, probably per pertain to what you're doing. Um, and it's saved. So once it's saved, I can come up here and change my project to demo three. And so now any of the configuration changes I make in my staging tenant will be recorded in this project while I'm on that project. So let's go ahead and go up to the business objects and go to incident. And incident. And we'll go to our layouts. The easiest way really to find that thing is go look at the layout that we're using. Um, do a form view. And I've got this in the new look. Um, what you'll see normally would be the old view, which would be this. And I have a little button available. Click new look. And we want to edit this right here. So we're going to edit that form. <clears throat> we'll go to that control and click on it. And you'll see the properties here. Customer is the current label of that, which makes sense, but we're going to change it to user. User. Click off so it take, takes it. We see it changed. Save it. Now these are all the changes that I want to have in my particular project, so I'm going to now change back to uh, the default project. And we'll come down and look at this project. And here to uh, project. We'll do a new window here. Projects. And we'll see our demo three. 
you see that in that project we have a transaction here where we change the label one transaction set with one transaction detail all right so we want to take this project that we've recorded this in and package it up so that we can push it to our UAT and state or production environments. So what I'll do is I'll create a new package. So we'll go down here to packages. I'll go ahead and just create a new window here, packages. And we'll call this package demo three, new record, demo three. We'll make it distinct here. Package, save. So I have a couple of options. Um, once I get this pushed, I'll go back to the project here um, and I've got it open and I can say assign to package. And here I'll pick my demo three package and hit OK. I come back and look at my demo three package and hit a refresh. I can see that those transactions are in there. And I can actually take this and export the package to a file. All right, and that's in my downloads folder. And then I can open up UAT and I can actually go to the same location and import that into UAT. Let's go ahead and just do it. Try it. So I'll log out of staging. Log out. And we'll log into UAT. UAT. And we'll choose heat admin. Log in. And we'll go into configuration. And go back down to packages. And we're going to import a package. Import, browse, we'll go to my downloads. Here, we can find them. And there's my demo three package. And we can preview that. It's going to give us a little summary of what it's going to do. We can then validate and apply if no errors. We could just validate and it won't apply it. Just look for errors. But we're going to we're going to do this when we know it's pretty simple. We'll execute it. <clears throat> and we'll get a little pop-up that says we were successful. If there are any errors, they would appear here in this section. And then we can come back and look in our UAT tenant and see that we've updated this to user, the label. Right? So let's go look at our production tenant where this is the destination of, of all these changes once we've validated them. And you see we've got customer for the incident here. And um, now we want to apply the change that we, we created in staging and push to UAT and test it. And so to do that, I'm going to use Operations Console. Um, I'll show you an error that happens if you don't close that project. If you come here and you say, um, let's take these changes on staging and push to production by package. And we see the only thing we've got is demo two. We don't have demo three in there because our project, our, our package is still open. So we come back into staging. Let's log out of here, go back into staging. Eventually, staging, in admin, log in. We're going to go back to configuration, down to our package. And it's demo three package right here and close that package. It's going to warn you that no further changes can be made, which is exactly what we want. I continue. Now come back to Operations Console. And let's do a little refresh here. All right, go back to Tenants. Go back here to Migration. And we're going to say we want to apply that package from staging to production. So we'll say Apply Package. And we're going to pick Demo 3 Package, our new one. and you can, it's, it's going to always try to do a backup, um, not recommended, you can read it here, but I'm going to check that because I don't need that extra BAK file. 
and I'm going to go ahead and validate and apply. I could just validate just like we did before, but I can validate and apply and click execute here. Yes. And it's pushing our changes in our package to the production tenant. All right, so it's been applied successfully. Let's go check and see if it really was. Of course, I've got to hit a refresh here. I go to incident and we'll take a look at our form, make sure it's updated. And it is. So we've taken those changes. Could be multiple, lots and lots of changes that we've packaged up and pushed to production after we test it on UAT and make sure they work fine. Let's go to Operations Console and show one other thing here. <clears throat> we'll go back to tenants. We'll go back into the manage migration. And let's take that package. Well, let's say let's apply that package. Well, I want to do it to production. Apply package to production. We'll pick demo three. And you see that it's already been applied. You don't get that warning when you import that that file. If it's been if it's been applied already, it's going to import it anyway. Here in Operations Console, it goes ahead and lets us know, hey, um, you know, you've already done this. That's just a very brief demo of um, kind of the development cycle so that um, you can do all your development in your staging tenant, make those changes saved into a particular project. When that project is full and we're ready to be you know, ready to take it and package and move it and push it and test it, uh, we can save it out, import it into UAT. We could use Operations Console also to push that to UAT. But then when we're done um, testing, uh, the ideal way to push that those changes into production would be to use the operations console and apply those packages here. Thank you for your time.